my channel or as I like to call it, The Candy Factory. So if you're not a lollipop yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, become a part of my notification squad. So today's makeup tutorial is focusing on this beautiful cut, half cut crease we've got going on and this is such a simple look to do. I'm going to show you guys a step by step tutorial on how to achieve this look. I also partnered up with Wet n Wild today for this video and we're doing an amazing giveaway at the end so make sure that you stay tuned. This is really a look that you can rock with your year end function or any other Christmas party that you might be going to. We know it's that time of the year so without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. My eyes are already prepped and primed so I'm going to pick up the All Natural palette in Nude Awakening and I'm using shade number 6 as my first shade. We're just going to go in with a blending brush and really apply that to the crease softly. Once you've applied the colour you can start blending it out by either using Windshield by the Motions like I do here or little circles to smoke it out and blend it out softly. Using shade number one, which is a matte vanilla shade, I'm going to place that onto my brow bone with a flat shader brush and then go in with a blending brush and make sure that that's blended properly into the transition. Shade number seven is a beautiful plum shade and with a smaller blending brush, I'm going to add that over my transition shade, but focusing on the crease so we really darken up that area for the cut crease to come. Going in with number 10 which is our black and a small pencil brush, we are now going to even darken the crease more. As you can see we move to a smaller brush because we're focusing on smaller areas. So just apply that colour and start blending it out with your pencil brush and then you can also go in with your blending brush and just soften the edges. Now grabbing the Photo Focus Concealer and Light Ivory, I'm going to put some on my hand and pick it up with a lipstick brush. This is going to help us with precision. So just take your time, draw out your crease, make sure that it's a nice sharp line. You don't want it to look blended. And that's really going to take some patience and practicing. But I promise you, as soon as you get the hang of it, it's just so easy. So I'm just going to take it about two thirds into the eye and then fill out the rest of the lid. Picking up shade number two, which is a soft baby pink shimmer and a flat synthetic brush, I'm going to pack it into my lid area and tear duct, the first third of the eyelid really, and get as close to the crease as possible without overlapping it. Once you have done that, I'm going to go in and fill in the rest with the fifth shade, which is a bit more of a darker pink. Same thing, just pat it onto your lid, getting as close to the crease as possible. Once you have finished that, I'm going to pick up my pencil brush and plum and I'm just going to trace above the cut crease in case I overlap with some shimmer. With our pencil brush still in the black color, I'm going to start by doing the third third of the eye and this is where your cut crease will end. So we're going to place the black there, take it up all the way to the cut crease. As you can see, it kind of just stops there. And then I'm also going to take whatever's left on my brush and drag it into the upper crease area. Just to really still define that cut crease that we did. Picking up my small blending brush and a little bit of the plum, I'm just using small circular motions over the black to soften that up. And then I'm also feathering it out to give it that out of the kind of effect. And then with the pencil brush and plum, I'm going to do the same on the inside of the lid just to give it that nice gradient look. Still using the pencil brush and plum, I'm just going to trace my bottom lash line and blend it out as I apply the colour. And with a little bit of black and a small angled brush, just trace the lash line on the outer V section. For eyeliner today, I'm using the Smudge Proof Liquid Eyeliner that stays put and dries fast. And I'm just going to line the top lash line 
I'm not going to create a wing so I'm just going to stop it where my lash line stops and really take your time and be patient and this will just really really finish off this look nicely. I'm going to use the Lash Renegade Mascara to apply some mascara to my lower lash line before I apply falsies and what I love about this mascara is it's got like this little ball in front so it makes it easy to grab those tiny bottom lashes. Once you've applied the lashes you can kind of see where you want to darken up with a bit more black shadow and this is really just going to add that depth to the look and then with your liquid liner just trace the lash line so you can blend it in properly I'm showing you guys two different lip options. The first one is Mega Sleek's Balm Stain. This one is in the color is Stiff Pink. And what I love about it is that it stays on super long and is very moisturizing. Next up, we have the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. This one is in Rebel Rose. And these liquid lipsticks are amazing. It stays on your lips. Like you can't believe and it's really available in so many different shades, which I think is really cool. As easy as that and that completes this makeup tutorial. Chic, fun, super cool. Everyone's gonna compliment you on your makeup girl. Just tell them where you learned it. Okay. So let's dive straight into this giveaway before we move on to the giveaway rules. I just quickly want to tell you guys that Wet n Wild is such a cool brand because not only do they try and stay on trend and launch products that's really trendy like the liquid lipsticks that are amazing but also they are cruelty free which we know there's not a lot of products in South Africa that's affordable and cruelty free and yeah affordable which I just mentioned and then also really good quality for what you're paying so these products are available at Clix and I will also list everything I use down below but without further ado let's jump into the giveaway rules Alrighty, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and then like this video, comment down below what you loved about this tutorial and then we want you guys to follow us on Instagram. So Candy Cane Makeup, Wet n Wild SA, links are in the description box. Make sure you check them out to make sure that you follow all the rules. It's as simple as that. You are chosen as my winner. Check the description box down below to see what the bonus is and the extra entry that you need to do for that. But I think it's super cool that we get to play with makeup, try new products, and I hope you guys will love it as much as I do. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know what other videos you guys want to see. But until then, you guys will stay sweet. I will talk to you soon.